of mind. You see, with just simple concentration and realizing that all in the universe is one, and I can, with that knowledge, create a symbiotic relationship with this little piece of tinfoil under a bowl and move it with the power of my mind. Look. Come on, really? Really, telekinesis. You don't believe that axe heads can float, donkeys and snakes can talk, or that God can create the world in six literal days, but you believe this. Really. See, this is a very simple experiment. All I did was put this plate in a, uh, in a microwave oven for a minute. I put this bowl in a freezer for a minute, and the air current inside of there creates that little piece of tin foil to move. And I didn't even take a whole lot of care to make sure that thing was balanced well. Or, uh, you know, because if I had balanced it just so and made little fins on there, believe me, I could get that thing twirling like crazy. It's very simple. See, um, we need to talk about our belief systems because atheists like to mock Christians for believing in things like a special six-day creation, for believing in talking donkeys, floating axe heads, snakes, the world flooding, and that the, the planet is only a less than 10,000 years old, but yet you'll believe this. Let's talk a little bit about simulation theory. There's atheists out there, and a growing increasing number of atheists, who believe that we are part of a computer simulation. Really? Really? That's what you believe. Okay. So that just begs the question, who made the computer? And who made the people who made the computer? Now, there's another segment of atheists out there who believe in something called panspermia. And panspermia is the belief that aliens came to this planet billions and billions of years ago from uh, galaxies far, far away and seeded life here, just scattered all the ingredients for life on this planet and just left it to, by random processes of chance, come to where we are today. Really? Really. But Christ rising from the dead is somehow impossible. But you'll believe that. You see, G.K. Chesterton, he said that when people stop believing in God, they don't believe in nothing. They'll believe anything. And that's what atheists do. And denying the God that they know exists intuitively and suppressing that truth in their unrighteousness, it's just like what it says in Romans one twenty two: professing to be wise, they become fools. And they'll believe things like panspermia. They'll believe things like simulation theory. And they'll believe things like telekinesis. And a challenge to my telekinetic friends, if it's real, call James Randi and collect that million dollar check. Last I checked, he's been carrying that check around for about 30 or 35 years or so. So, I just want to reason with people. My atheist friends in particular. Those of you who believe in panspermia, those of you who believe in evolution, those of you who believe in telekinesis, those of you who believe in simulation theory, have you given thought to the consequences, just the logical consequences? I mean, have you listened to the voices in your head and what they're telling you? I mean, does it really make sense? Or what makes more sense? That God, the creator of all the universe, who created everything and holds it all in the palm of his hand, would want to communicate with us. That he would send his son to die for our sins. That he would live the perfect life that you and I have never been able to live. That he would die the death that you and I deserve. That he would raise again on the third day, forever defeating sin and death. Proving himself to be God. Showing himself to 500 plus people. And you want to believe this as your alternative. My friends, that is why you are without excuse on Judgment Day. Because professing to be wise, you've become fools. 
and you suppress the truth that you intuitively know about God in your unrighteousness, so that when you stand without before God, you are without excuse. So you can do one of two things the way I see it. You can have the you just live it up now because this is as good as it's going to get for you. Because when you stand before God, if you die in your current state, you are going to get the just reward for this, which is eternity in hell. Or you can repent of your sin, submit yourself to the God you know exists, and trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior. And that, my friends, is the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel.